globally there is this uh, huge ambition to uh, restore degraded landscapes to mitigate the impact of climate change and you know all these plannings. Today we're going to visit two people's organizations that are partners of our um, Asia Forest and Landscape Restoration Project. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Paglaum Association. Let's proceed, sir. Nestor Gregorio is a Filipino researcher studying how to improve lives and reduce the impact of climate change through reforestation. Good morning. I do this work not just because I'm paid to do it. This is more personal, actually. Working with communities is something that is very rewarding. Paglaom, as a word in English, is hope. Hope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hope. yeah. So Paglaom is one of the four people's organizations that we are working with you know, in the uh, in Region Six, you know, in the province of Iloilo. He is working with the Philippine Department of Environment and Natural Resources to encourage community groups to plant yeah. trees. This is this is impressive. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. Mm. Okay, so all these are fruit trees. Okay. So this is rambutan. So many believe that producing high quality seedlings would require sophisticated and expensive setup. We have proven that it, it's not always uh, the case. There are some members who are concerned about climate change. At the end of the day, it's still the, um, the economic aspect, the economic uh, uh, component or returns of reforestation that prevails. Now we're going to the agroforestry site of Paseda the second people's organization that we are visiting today. Wow. And this was previously, previously planted with trees, mahogany, right? Yeah. And then the owner cut down all the trees and then replaced it with corn. Yeah, yeah we can still see the stumps, yeah. That's mahogany? Mahogany, yeah. People perceive that there's more return in planting corn rather than uh, compared to growing trees sure. because the owner cut all, down all the trees. Since 1900, the forested land in the Philippines has declined by more than two-thirds, from about 21 million to about 6 million hectares. Logging has been the main cause of the deforestation, which magnifies the effects of climate change. Oh yeah, they have started planting some of the bananas, no? the upper part of the slope. So the intention of this people's organization here is to showcase that um, there's more than just planting, you know, corn, and um, they have planted, I think, four or five, or even more than that, species of crops. Trees are the least preferred crop. Now. If they are successful in growing seedlings to become trees, it means that all other requisites are in place. The human capital is improved, the financial capital must have been improved, the skills of the people's organization must have been improved. That's why they were able to sustainably manage the plantation that they established. That night, we left Iloilo and traveled to another island, Cebu. The visit yesterday was very successful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can see good progress from the previous mm. visit. Today we'll be going to uh, northern Cebu for another visit. When we visited the DNR station on Cebu, Gregorio was disappointed to find the government was displaying poor methods for growing seedlings. <laughs> yeah, this is an example of the, um, the result when the seedling is placed on the ground. So instead of the seedling producing mass of root hairs inside the poly bag, the seedling will develop more roots outside the pot. And that is quite detrimental for the uh, survival of seedlings once they're planted in the field. Yeah, our government offices should have been the model. You know, 
because most likely without any explanation, the farmer will see this, they will simply adopt what they have seen. We are implementing a research project, not a development project. We have limited funds. When we visit a particular government agency and once they learn that it's about research, I could see that the, the interest of spending their time you know, using part of their resources you know, to work with us is lesser than the interest that they're showing to huge um, international funded project. We can, we, can, we can do that next year? Next year. We try, anyway, okay. because, because we don't have really that uh, budget. When I go back to the community after 10 years and I will find that you know, there's a huge improvement in the situation of the group and the landscape that they're operating, uh, to me that's something that is very rewarding. Gregorio has been working on this project for about 15 years. He plans to remain involved in the communities as their seedlings mature. Kay gusto nako nga ang ang kahoy manggod, ang pagpananom sa kahoy o pagpanguma, maunay among panginabuhi and dinhi. Then ang kahoy usa sad makasib sa among kinabuhi, makahatag og kanang landong og protik sa among area. Time and resources are major obstacles in their fight to mitigate climate change. But Gregorio remains hopeful that the community can make progress. Abot pa nila nga ingunani kanindot ang atong kalasangan, mabati pa na atong mga kalanggaman nga nagtingog sama aron. <laughs>